Hey, it's Pulse here with Pioneer DJ, and this video is all about moving a record box database. There's a few reasons why you might want to do this. One is you're moving from an old computer to a new one. Another is you want to be able to synchronize between multiple computers, or you just want to have an external database. One of the uh, things you can find is that this works between Mac and PC, and vice versa. So let's get started. First thing we'll notice here is that we've got a small selection of tracks in a record box database on a Mac. And the first step is to actually move all of your music to an external source. This makes it easy to migrate between the two computers. So we're going to go ahead and quit Rekordbox. And I'm going to connect my external source. So we're going to open a window for each the internal and external locations. And I'm just simply going to copy the music out from inside my music folder, which is where it's all located right now on the internal drive, over to the external drive. And I'm going to put this all in a music folder. Once the music is copied over, you can delete it from your original source, or you can leave it there if you so desire. I recommend removing it, because if we are moving this to another computer or to an external to sync between computers, you're not going to want to keep it on the internal source anyways. If you do want to keep it on the internal source, I recommend renaming your music folder or renaming the parent folder that everything is within, so that when we go to do the next step, it will actually make sense. So here we can close up those windows and go back into Rekordbox. Once within Rekordbox, trying to load up any song will find that it is missing. That's what this little orange exclamation point comes up for, and it asks us to relocate it. But rather than simply relocating the one file, if I right-click on it and relocate, I'm going to select all of my songs. And you can do that with Command-A in a Mac or Control-A in a PC. Right-click on any track and select Relocate. It comes up selecting the first song on the list, and now I've moved them to my external drive, so I click there go to my music folder, and the folder that you happen to know this file exists within. And if you don't know it, you have to find it. But once you do, click open. It'll ask if you want to relocate all the other songs using the same location. And if you've made everything into one, one move, you can say yes. So it'll relocate all the 32 files that I had moved. And now I'm able to load those up. So now I've got my music moved, but I also need to move the database. So let's go into the preferences. I go to the advanced and click move database. And it'll ask me what drive I want. I'm going to use the Corsair. I click OK. It tells me it'll take a long time. Well, it won't because this is a small database, but your time may vary. Click OK. Close the preference window. And now you can see that everything is actually on the external database. So let's quit Rekordbox, eject this drive, and I'll show you what happens when you load Rekordbox with no database connected. You'll find this window comes up warning you that it can't find the master database. It asks you if you want to open the master database in the default drive. If you do this, if I click yes, it's actually going to prompt and uh, let me know that it's going to create a new database and it'll be blank. Uh, I could add stuff on here if I wanted. And this also highlights the ability for you to be able to have multiple databases in your computer. Uh, now this is one internal and then you can have any number of external sources but they don't load simultaneously as you saw it switches between an internal and an external source. So let's go take this record box database over to Windows and I'll show you how we load it into another computer. So here we are opening record box in Windows 8.1 and you can see because I've got my device connected it wants to try and synchronize with the external USB device, but I'm going to say do not sync with my tag. It recognizes that it already had a database from another record box on it, but not necessarily the external database. So what we're going to do is now in record box here, go to the preferences, go to advanced, and you can see it gives me the option to select the drive because it has detected that the E drive has a record box database on it. So if I click OK, it will now load that database and because all my music is located externally, it knows where to find it, and I can load and play those from here. Now, if I were just going to use my external database as the master database for any computer, I'm done. My, my steps here are complete. I've already got my database on the external. I've got my music on the external. Any new music I add, I'm going to make sure it's on that external drive and then import it into my collection. But if I want to move this into a new computer, there's a couple more steps we need to do. So let's do the first one while we're in Rekordbox. Back into your preferences click Advanced, 
click the arrow and click move database. We're actually going to move the database from the external into the internal hard drive. So it's, sell, it's telling me that there's already a master database in the selected drive. Do I want to replace it? Well, the master database on the internal drive was blank. So yes, I do want to replace it. And this is going to replace it with the functional database I had on my external drive. I click OK. It warns me it may take a while. Now it is moving the master database off of the external drive into the internal drive. So that's why you can see I no longer have the option to select a drive here. But that's only half of it. So now I need to move my music into the internal. Same thing as I did before when I moved it off the internal source to the external. I'm going to take that folder or folders if you have multiple, copy them over. And I can actually delete it off my external source now because I no longer need it there. I'm going to go back into record box. And you can see once again that it's finding those tracks are unavailable, they're missing. I'm going to select all, right click, relocate, find that first track, click open, and use the same location to relocate all the other songs. And there we are, all 32 tracks have been reloaded. So I've just moved them from Mac to PC and they all play just fine. So if you have any other questions, you can hit us up, forums.pioneerdj.com. My name is Pulse. Thanks for watching.